So we're going to go ahead and get started. Happy Friday and welcome to Chair Yoga. We'll begin by getting centered. So go ahead and slide to the back of your chair and we'll relax for just a little bit. Letting your eyes close, feet on the floor, their hands resting in your lap. And bring your awareness to your body, resting here. Many of us turn to chair yoga to help with feelings in our body, sensations, tightness, soreness, to be more grounded in the body. So just notice the state of things for you today. The body might feel tired, might feel sore. Again, there might be other discomforts. Even in just sitting here and closing your eyes, you might start to feel some relief in your body. Some permission to not have to do anything. Whatever state you find your body in today, just accept that this is where you're at. This body that works so hard for you, the only one you got, may not always work in the ways we want it to, but here it is. Here we are. And so just breathe with this body. The breath flowing in on inhale, all the sensations that accompany that. The breath flowing out on exhale and all of those sensations too. And just a few more rounds of breath with the body here. And when you're ready, go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath. Slowly allow the eyes to open and bring yourself back to the room around you. Take your time with that. And when you're ready, go ahead and slide forward to the edge of your chair and have your feet and knees about hip width apart. And we'll bring arms down to start. With your next inhale, please sweep your arms out to the sides and up, reaching up. And exhale, release down. We'll do this a few times. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, releasing down. Feeling that movement in the shoulders, that length in the sides of your body. Good. We're going to switch it up just a little bit here. Inhale, reach up, please. With your exhale, fold at the hips, folding down over the thighs. Inhale, reverse that. Sweep the arms out to the side with the strong back. Lift all the way up. Stay seated. Release the arms down. Good. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, folding down over the thighs. Reverse that inhale. Come back up. Reach up. Stay tall. Release the arms. We're just going to keep going. Warming up the back. Warming up the sides of the body. Lengthening the spine and blending your breath and your movement. Really getting grounded more so into the body today. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up. Exhale, just the arms. Let's do a couple more, all right? One more time like this, then we'll actually add something to it. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, come back up. With your exhale this time, we're going to come into a twist. Take your right arm forward, take your left arm back and twist. Inhale, unwind, lift the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Good. Inhale, lifting back up. Let's go the other way. Exhale to the right and twist. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, fold. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twist in the first direction. And unwind, inhale, folding down. If you don't want to fold down, you can just drop the arms. Inhale, back up. Exhale, twist to the second side. Let's just keep going. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, fold. And up. And twist. And up. And fold. And up. And twist. We're going to twist one more time on each side. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. And up. Let's twist to the left and stay just for a few breaths. Rolling the left shoulder back, looking behind you. Sit up tall. Good. Inhale, unwind, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reverse that. And let's twist to the right now. Rolling the right shoulder back, looking behind you. Sit up tall, twist further. Good, inhale, unwind, lift up. And then we're gonna fold forward and stay in the forward fold for just a little bit. So you can let your arms hang to the floor. If that's too much for you, just bring the hands back up onto the thighs. Either way, relax the head and breathe. Good, inhale, sit back up. Good. All right. I'll turn sideways. You keep facing forward. We're going to do some spinal flexes next. Hands on your thighs. Inhale, open the chest, look up, and exhale, round the upper back, look down. We know this one. Keep going. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, rounding the upper back. Keep the lower back flat here. This is one of my favorite chair yoga exercises, mostly because when we sit a lot, the body collapses forward and this kind of brings some pliability back to the upper spine. And so it's a good one to do, honestly, daily. So if this feels good to you, it feels important to you, put it in your pocket, save it for later. <laughs> good, a couple more times. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Open and round. Go ahead and open the chest. Stay, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Let the head drop back. Feel the throat stretch. Good. Then round the upper back, looking down at your lap. Feel the shoulder blades separate. Breathe. And then with your next inhale, come back to a neutral spine and drop the shoulders down. So letting your arms hang heavy next to you, with your inhale, shrug your shoulders up towards your ears, squeeze, 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 and then gently drop the shoulders down. And we'll do that a few more times. Squeezing up the shoulders, gathering all that muscle and just pulling it up towards your neck. And then exhale, releasing. Again, roll it up. Shrug it up. And release. Feel like two more times today. Go ahead and squeeze up. And down. Last one. Squeeze on up and hold. 
So staying in the pose, squeeze, 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 keep breathing. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Good. All right. So keeping the arms just hanging down, go ahead and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Then bring the head up and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And just keep going gently from side to side, stretching the sides of your neck. You can let your jaw be loose here. And only go as far as your head is wanting to today, or your neck, I should say. Good. And then drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. And then roll your chin down towards your left collarbone. And breathe. You'll feel a stretch kind of on the side of the neck, but also somewhat up into the back of the neck. Let your right shoulder be heavy. Please breathe, especially if you notice tension here, like I'm doing. <laughs> it's the beauty of teaching chair yoga. I get it too. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and turn the head forward and lift back up. Beautiful. Let's do the other side. Go ahead and drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And then turn your chin down towards your right collarbone. Let your left shoulder be heavy. And breathe into that stretch. Good. And then turn the chin forward. Head back up, and they'll do a little bit more work for the back of the neck. So go ahead and drop your left ear to your left shoulder, and then roll your chin down to your chest, and roll over to the other side, ear to shoulder. Stop there, and then roll forward again, chin to chest, back to the first side. And keep making these half circles, rolling down and across, rolling down and across, feeling the back of the neck stretch here along with the sides of the neck. Sit up tall, shoulders heavy. Oh yeah, don't forget to breathe. <laughs> it's so easy to forget to breathe, especially when we're concentrating. Let's go for just a little bit longer here. And then go ahead and drop your chin down to your chest. And then lift the head up to neutral. And feel sensation, especially in the neck. Maybe the upper shoulders as well. Beautiful. So when you're ready, please take your left arm out to the side. And then sweep the arm across your body, about parallel to the floor. And then with your opposite hand, reach up just above the elbow and just pull the arm in. Just a little tug here. You guessed it, we're breathing. <laughs> Good, then release the arm down and we'll do the other side. Right arm out, go ahead and sweep it forward and across parallel to the floor. Left hand reaches up just above the right elbow and give a pull. Good, and go ahead and release. For our next one, take both arms out to the sides. Sweep both arms forward. Have your right arm over left. Excuse me, right over left. And then continue across and hold on to your upper arms or maybe even your shoulders. Some of you with more open shoulders might be able to inch further across into a tighter hug, but just hold as tightly as you can, holding up at the arms. Good, now sitting up nice and tall, go ahead and lift your elbows powerfully in front of you without really backbending. bending. 
and breathe. We're creating some space in the shoulder joints. We're also creating some space at the shoulder blades. Breathe deeply here, especially into the upper body. Lift up a little bit more. Three, two, and then exhale, slowly drop the elbows down, slowly release the hug. This is one of the ones that you tend to feel more when you come out of it. So you might even just roll your shoulders around a little bit to find out what went on. <laughs> and we do have to do it again because we did right over left. Now we have to do left over right just to make sure things are as balanced as humanly possible. So take the left or <laughs> both arms out to the side, sweep them forward, left over right, left over right. Continue across, holding on to the arms, maybe your shoulders. Maybe you hold tighter. Good. Now sitting up nice and tall. The back is relatively flat here or at a neutral point. And then lift the elbows powerfully. And breathe. Again, feeling into that space at the upper back around the shoulder blades. That space around the spine. That fanning open of the upper rib cage. This exercise also helps with breath capacity because we're creating so much space in the rib cage. <laughs> the lungs can do a lot more here. So take those deeper breaths that you're allowing yourself to have right now by creating space in the ribs. Keep the elbows lifting. Deep breath in. And then slowly drop the elbows down, slowly release the hug, and then feel. Again, you can roll the shoulders back and forth a few times if you need to. All right, we're going to work the core a little bit here with our core leans. I'll turn sideways. You keep facing forward. Just to demonstrate what we'll do real quick. Um, yeah, sitting nice and tall at the edge of your seat. You'll lift the arms up, inhale. With the exhale, you'll present a tray forward. So arms are parallel to the floor, palms face up, and then you'll lean back. When you lean back, keep the back flat. So don't round it, but keep the heart and belly pulling forward. And then we'll lift up and we'll lean back and we'll do that several times, all right? So when you're ready, please join me. Inhale big, lift the arms up. Exhale, present your tray and lean back a little bit like it's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> then inhale, lift up, and then exhale, present your tray, lean back. Good, keep going, inhale up. Exhale, leaning back, only going as far as your body wants to today. Even if it's only a little bit of a lean back, as long as your core and lower back are engaged, you're doing the exercise. You also don't want to lean back too far because then your feet will pick up off the ground and you go flying backwards. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lean. Inhale, lift. And then go ahead and lean back, present your tray, and stay. And hanging out here. <laughs> Breathing here. Feeling that engagement in the belly, and especially at your lower back, will stay for three, two, and one, inhale, lift up strong, and then exhale, drape the upper body down over the thighs. And like before, your arms can hang to the floor. If that's too much, you can bring the hands back up onto the thighs. Release the head here. All right, inhale back up. And just feel how strong your back is now. <laughs> it's good when we sit a lot to do some work to stabilize the lower back because when we kind of collapse into our seats, which I do too, it's good to bring some of that engagement back. Wonderful. So go ahead and take your feet into our wider stance. And so the heels and knees are just a little bit wider than your shoulders. Toes pointing out to the sides. 
about 45 degrees and the heel is always stacking underneath the knee. The idea here is if you lean from side to side, you don't fall over. So test that out, neither widen or narrow your stance to make yourself as stable as you can, okay? So once you're here, go ahead and bring your left elbow down onto your left thigh, right hand onto your right hip, and then roll the right shoulder back. Good. Now think about anchoring your right hip down onto your chair, really ground it there, and then sweep the right arm up and overhead out over your left foot. It's like a seated side angle pose. If you're wondering what side angle pose is, we did that in yoga on Wednesday. <laughs> so watch the video when it comes out. Breathing here, feeling that length in the right side of your body. Good, one more breath, reach through the right fingertips. And then go ahead and release the right arm and sit back up. Good. Doing the other side, bring your right elbow down onto your right thigh, left hand on the left hip to start. Roll the left shoulder back. Good. Ground the left hip down onto the chair. And then when you're ready, sweep the left arm up and overhead, out over the right foot. And again, roll the left shoulder back. Breathing here, big length on the left side. Good, one more breath here. And then go ahead and sweep the left arm back and come up. And keeping the knees wider apart, bring your hands onto your thighs just above the knees, point the fingertips inward so that if you fold forward, the elbows can act as hinges. And then I'll have you do exactly that. Go ahead and bend the elbows and fold down. And at your furthest point, go ahead and drop the head. And I want you to feel your head heavy here. You can imagine that the head is like a bowling ball. It's just dense and heavy. <laughs> but for this case, it's to traction the neck a little bit here. And breathe. All right, with your next inhale, go ahead and sit back up. Be gentle with the head. <sighs> Letting the blood in your body recirculate. <laughs> Bring your feet and knees a little bit closer together. All right, so we'll move into our meditation practice next. So please slide to the back of your chair. Take a load off, you've been working hard. Feet flat on the floor, go ahead and let the eyes close again. And like our first centering practice, just notice sensation in your body. Maybe that feeling has changed since we were first aware of the body about a half an hour ago. And then please bring your awareness to your breath, flowing in and out, inhale and exhale. And with your awareness on the breath, we'll begin to shape it by evening the breath out making the length of your inhale and exhale the same. And you can achieve that by counting the breath, inhaling for a certain number of counts, 
and exhaling for an equal number of counts. And a count is just whatever you use to measure time internally. Just do your best, making the length of your inhale and exhale the same. Inhaling for a certain number of counts. And exhaling for an equal number of counts. And you can imagine that this balanced breath, this even breath, is creating a sense of harmony in your life. And just imagining anything in your life that feels unsteady, finds steadiness in the even breath. Anything that feels imbalanced in your life, imagine it finding balance in the even breath. Equal inhale, equal exhale, seeking harmony, seeking balance through the regulation of your breath. And so feel yourself more regulated, more balanced than before. And take the sense of balance or harmony with you back out into your world, into your day. So from here, go ahead and take a deeper, fuller breath. And bring your palms together and rub them together. And taking the heated palms over your eyes. Brushing over the top of your head, down your neck, welcoming yourself back to the space around you. <laughs> 